The universe is getting bigger every day. And what we understand now is that the amount it's getting bigger is getting bigger every day. The expansion of the universe is accelerating. Ironically, what this means is that as time goes on, even though the universe is getting bigger, we see less of it. How is the universe getting bigger? Finding the answer has become one of the greatest quests in modern science. Just a few years ago, we were trying to measure how much the universe is slowing down over time. It makes sense, right? An explosion happened a long time ago, the Big Bang. Scientists assumed the Big Bang would slow down and gravity would pull things back together. But that's not what they were seeing in the cosmos. Astronomers think that the universe appears to be expanding at an accelerating rate. Now, we have no idea what's causing this. So I'll let you in on a secret here. Whenever astronomers don't know something, they tend to say dark, dark energy. Even though scientists are baffled, they know this thing called dark energy makes up 70% of what's out there in the cosmos. It's stronger than gravity and may eventually be stronger than the forces that hold atoms together. My body is held together by the electromagnetism in my atoms. But what if the expansion of space increases and accelerates and it even overcomes those forces? Astronomers are calling that the big rip. And although we don't know this will happen, it's a possibility that eventually the expansion will get strong enough to rip apart atoms, to rip apart our very bodies. Even matter will fly apart. One way to wrap our brains around the expanding universe and the Big Bang is to use an analogy. For instance, tennis balls on a piece of elastic. Here, each tennis ball represents a galaxy. So this one could be our own Milky Way galaxy. And the elastic is space itself. Now, since we know the universe is expanding, it's like taking this elastic and stretching it. Now, as the elastic expands, the galaxies start to spread out and get more and more remote from one another. So our simple model of the universe with tennis balls and elastic literally breaks down if we try to apply it to one ruled by dark energy. Because if we're trying to show a universe in which the rate of expansion between the galaxies is actually accelerating over time, our elastic would have to stretch infinitely far and we would have to run away from each other infinitely fast. Now, we can't do that with a simple model. And that, in a way, is an example of just how bizarre a dark energy-dominated universe could be.